Hello guys, today we are going to start a new series that is Azure IoT Hub. So, we will start from basics or scratch. No knowledge of IoT Hub or IoT device is needed. We don't need actual IoT device. We will use free online stimulator which will act as IoT device and we just need active Azure subscription. Now, before we discuss about Azure IoT Hub, let's first discuss what is IoT device. So, IoT device is a hardware device, but it has capability to connect to the internet. As an example, we may have smart bulb, fire panel IoT devices, smart air conditioner. Now, let's discuss about smart bulb. So, from our mobile, that is remotely that is from our mobile app we can turn on or off the bulb in case of iot fire panel devices if there is fire or smoke is detected in a building then those iot fire panel devices they will send notifications to our mobile and of course via azure iot hub and guys building where the fire is detected and the person who is receiving notifications on mobile of course, they may be in different countries as well. And that's the whole point of having IoT. And IoT devices, they have sensors. And these sensors, they collect data. So for example, IoT fire panel devices, they have sensor to detect the fire or smoke. So guys, we just discussed about IoT devices. And we can perform operations on those IoT devices remotely, right? But then, there must be something using which we, we are able to perform these operations and that is nothing but Azure IoT Hub. So Azure IoT Hub, it is a cloud service through which we can manage or control IoT devices and Azure IoT Hub, it can handle millions of devices. So IoT devices and Azure IoT Hub, they communicate with each other and this is two-way communications as you can see in this diagram and communication it means sending messages or sending commands and guys messages commands telemetry we will discuss in detail in our upcoming videos now we said the communication between iot devices and iot hub it can be two-way communication and let's discuss it quickly so IoT Hub to IoT device communication. So as an example, we can turn on or off the smart bulb from our mobile. So here we send a command from mobile to Azure IoT Hub and Azure IoT Hub sends that command to the device. So again, it's IoT Hub to IoT device communication. And then we have IoT device to IoT Hub communication as well. As an example, when fire or smoke is detected in a building so in that case those iot fire panel devices they will send this information to azure iot hub and azure iot hub will send this information to our mobile app and guys now couple of more points about iot devices so as a azure cloud developer we don't need to know iot devices in great detail that is how internally iot devices work which programming language is used in that IoT device, etc. So, we will work more on cloud side and IoT devices or there is something called gateways and guys, gateways as well, we will discuss in detail. So, as of now, let's just consider I IoT devices or gateways. They are managed by gateway team who are experts in embedded systems design. But of course, we will work with embedded developers to develop our IoT solution.